Gabriel, Hebrew, Gabriel lit. Gavriel, God is my strength. Ancient Greek, Gabriel lit. Gabriel, Coptic, Aramaic, Gabriel Arabic, Jabril Jibril or Jabril Jibr il, in the Abrahamic religions, is an archangel. It was first described in the Hebrew Bible, and subsequently developed by other traditions. In the Hebrew Bible, Gabriel appears to the prophet Daniel, to explain his visions Daniel chapter 8 verses 15 to 21-27. Gabriel the archangel is also a character in other ancient Jewish writings such as the Book of Enoch. Alongside Archangel Michael, Gabriel is described as the guardian angel of Israel, defending this people against the angels of the other nations. In the Christian New Testament in the Gospel of Luke, the angel Gabriel appears to Zechariah and the Virgin Mary, foretelling the births of John the Baptist and Jesus, respectively. Luke chapter 1 verses 11 to 38. In many Christian traditions including Anglican, Eastern Orthodox and Roman Catholic, Gabriel is also referred to as a saint. In Islam, Gabriel is an archangel whom God sent with revelation to various prophets, including Muhammad. The first five verses of the 96th chapter of the Quran, the Qat, is believed by Muslims to have been the first verses revealed by Gabriel to Muhammad. In the Latter-day Saint movement, the angel Gabriel is the same individual as the prophet Noah in his mortal ministry. In Yazidism, Gabriel is one of the seven mysteries, the heptad to which God entrusted the world and sometimes identified with Melek Taos. <inaudible> Judaism Jewish rabbis interpreted the man in linen as Gabriel in the book of Daniel and the book of Ezekiel. In the book of Daniel, Gabriel is responsible for interpreting Daniel's visions. Gabriel's main function in Daniel is that of revealer, a role he continues in later literature. In the book of Ezekiel, Gabriel is understood to be the angel that was sent to destroy Jerusalem. According to the Jewish Encyclopedia, Gabriel takes the form of a man, and stands at the left hand of God. Shimon ben Lachish Syria -Palestina, 3rd century, concluded that the angelic names of Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel came out of the Babylonian exile Gen. Rab. 48-9. Alongside Archangel Michael, Gabriel is described as the guardian angel of Israel, defending this people against the angels of the other nations. In Kabbalah, Gabriel is identified with the Sephirot of Yesod. Gabriel also has a prominent role as one of God's archangels in the Kabbalah literature. There, Gabriel is portrayed as working in concert with Michael as part of God's court. Gabriel is not to be prayed to because only God can answer prayers and sends Gabriel as his agent. According to Jewish mythology, in the Garden of Eden there is a tree of life or the tree of souls that blossoms and produces new souls, which fall into the guf, the treasury of souls. Gabriel reaches into the treasury and takes out the first soul that comes into his hand. Then Layla, the angel of conception, watches over the embryo until it is born. Intertestamental literature The intertestamental period roughly 200 BC to 50 AD produced a wealth of literature, much of it having an apocalyptic orientation. The names and ranks of angels and devils were greatly expanded, and each had particular duties and status before God. In 1 Enoch 9-1-3, Gabriel, along with Michael, Uriel and Suriel, saw much blood being shed upon the earth one, and heard the souls of men cry, Bring our cause before the Most High. Nine to three, in 1 Enoch 10-1, the reply came from the Most High, the Holy and Great One, who sent forth agents, including Gabriel. And the Lord said to Gabriel, Proceed against the bastards and the reprobates, and against the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication and the children of the watchers from amongst men, and cause them to go forth, send them one against the other that they may destroy each other in battle, for length of days shall they not have. 1 Enoch 10 9 Gabriel is the fifth of the five angels who keep watch. Gabriel, one of the holy angels, who is over paradise and the serpents and the cherubim. 1 Enoch 20 7 
When Enoch asked who the four figures were that he had seen, and he said to me, This first is Michael, the merciful and long-suffering, and the second, who is set over all the diseases and all the wounds of the children of men, is Raphael, and the third, who is set over all the powers, is Gabriel, and the fourth, who is set over the repentance unto hope of those who inherit eternal life, is named Phanuel, and these are the four angels of the Lord of Spirits and the four voices I heard in those days. Enoch 40-9 Christianity Topic: New Testament First, concerning John the Baptist, an angel appeared to his father Zacharias, a priest of the course of Abia, Luke chapter 1 verses 5 to 7, whose barren wife Elizabeth was of the daughters of Aaron, while he ministered in the temple. After completing his week of ministry, Zacharias returned to his house in Hebron and his wife Elizabeth conceived. After she completed five months, Luke chapter 1 verses 21 to 25 of her pregnancy, Gabriel is mentioned again. Gabriel only appears by name in those two passages in Luke. In the first passage the angel identified himself as Gabriel, but in the second it is Luke who identified him as Gabriel. The only other named angels in the New Testament are Michael the archangel in Jude chapter 1 verse 9 and Abaddon in Revelation chapter 9 verse 11. Gabriel is not called an archangel in the Bible. Believers are expressly warned not to worship angels in Colossians chapter 2 verses 18 to 19 and Revelation chapter 19 verse 10. Gabriel's horn The trope of Gabriel blowing a trumpet blast to indicate the Lord's return to earth is especially familiar in Negro spirituals. However, though the Bible mentions a trumpet blast preceding the resurrection of the dead, it never specifies Gabriel as the trumpeter. Different passages state different things, the angels of the Son of Man Matthew chapter 24 verse 31, the voice of the Son of God John chapter 5 verses 25 to 29, God's trumpet 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16, seven angels sounding a series of blasts Revelation chapters 8 to 11, or simply, a trumpet will sound. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 52, in related traditions, Gabriel is again not identified as the trumpeter. In Judaism, trumpets are prominent, and they seem to be blown by God himself, or sometimes Michael. In Zoroastrianism, there is no trumpeter at the Last Judgment. In Islamic tradition, it is Israfil who blows the trumpet, though he is not named in the Quran. The Christian Church Fathers do not mention Gabriel as the trumpeter, early English literature similarly does not. The earliest known identification of Gabriel as the trumpeter comes in John Wycliffe's 1382 tract, De Ecclesia Dominio. In the year 1455, in Armenian art, there is an illustration in an Armenian manuscript showing Gabriel sounding his trumpet as the dead climb out of their graves. Two centuries later, Gabriel is identified as the trumpeter, in John Milton's Paradise Lost 1667. Later, Gabriel's horn is omnipresent in Negro spirituals, but it is unclear how the Byzantine conception inspired Milton and the spirituals, though they presumably have a common source. Gabriel's horn also makes an appearance in the Eyes of Texas, 1903, where it signifies the rapture. In Mark Connolly's play based on spirituals, The Green Pastures, 1930, Gabriel has his beloved trumpet constantly with him, and the Lord has to warn him not to blow it too soon. Four years later, Blow, Gabriel, Blow was introduced by Ethel Merman in Cole Porter's Anything Goes 1934. <inaudible> <inaudible> Feast days Saint Gabriel Archangel's Festivity Day was exclusively celebrated 18 March as of many sources dating between the years 1588 and 1921, except for a source published in 1856, where the feast was celebrated on April 7 for unknown reasons a parenthesis notes that the day is normally celebrated on March 18. Writer Elizabeth Drayson mentions the feast being celebrated in March 18 the year of 1588 in her 2013 book, The Lead Books of Granada. Drayson, Elizabeth, January 13, 2016. The Lead Books of Granada. Palgrave Macmillan 2013 edition. p. 3. 
ISBN 1137358848X, one of the oldest out of print sources pronouncing the feast for March 18, was first published in 1608 and has the name, Flos Sanctorum, Historia General de la Vida y Hechos de Jesu Cristo. Y de los Santos de que Reza y Hayes Fiesta la Iglesia Católica. By the Spanish writer Alonso de Villegas, a newer edition of this book was published in the year 1794. Another source published in Ireland in 1886 the Irish Ecclesiastical Record also mentions March 18. There is a painting from 1886 by the Italian artist Diodor Raholt. The 18th of March appears on the painting as well. The Feast of Saint Gabriel was included for the first time in the general Roman calendar in 1921 for celebration on March 24. It is unknown whether this was a temporary change. However, there is no recent mention of the feast commemoration between the years 1921 and 1969. In 1969 the day was officially transferred to September 29 for celebration in conjunction with the Feast of St. Michael and St. Raphael. The Church of England has also adopted the September 29 date, known as Michaelmas. The Eastern Orthodox Church and those Eastern Catholic Churches which follow the Byzantine Rite celebrate his feast day on November 8 for those churches that follow the traditional Julian calendar, November 8 currently falls on November 21 of the modern Gregorian calendar, a difference of 13 days. Eastern Orthodox commemorate him, not only on his November feast, but also on two other days, March 26 is the Synaxis of the Archangel Gabriel, and celebrates his role in the Annunciation. July 13 is also known as the Synaxis of the Archangel Gabriel, and celebrates all the appearances and miracles attributed to Gabriel throughout history. The feast was first established on Mount Athos when, in the 9th century, during the reign of Emperor Basil II and the Empress Constantina Porphyrogenitus and while Nicholas Chrysoverges was Patriarch of Constantinople, the Archangel appeared in a cell near Caris, where he wrote with his finger on a stone tablet the hymn to the Theotokos, It is truly meet. The Coptic Orthodox Church celebrates his feast on Paoni 13, Koyuk 22 and Paoni 26. The Ethiopian Church celebrates his feast on December 28, with a sizable number of its believers making a pilgrimage to a church dedicated to Saint Gabriel in Kalubi on that day. Additionally, Gabriel is the patron saint of messengers, those who work for broadcasting and telecommunications such as radio and television, remote sensing, postal workers, clerics, diplomats, and stamp collectors. Latter-day Saint teachings In Latter-day Saint theology, Gabriel is believed to have lived a mortal life as the prophet Noah. The two are regarded as the same individual, Noah being his mortal name and Gabriel being his heavenly name. Islam Gabriel Arabic, Jabril Jibril or Jabril J -I -B -R -il is venerated as an archangel and as the angel of revelation in Islam. As the Bible portrays Gabriel as a celestial messenger sent to Daniel, Mary, and Zechariah, so too Islamic tradition holds that Gabriel was sent to numerous pre-Islamic prophets with revelation and divine injunctions, including Adam, whom Muslims believe was consoled by Gabriel some time after the fall. He is known by many names in Islam, such as the Holy Spirit, Keeper of Holiness, and Peacock of Paradise. According to Muslim belief, God revealed the Quran to the Islamic prophet Muhammad through the angel Gabriel, and the 53rd chapter of the text describes the angel without naming him, in a passage that Islamic commentators have unanimously interpreted as referring to Gabriel. The passage in question, 53-4-11, reads, Gabriel is also named numerous times in the Quran 2 to 97 and 66 to 4 for example in 2 to 92 minus 96 the Quran mentions Gabriel along with Michael who is also venerated as an exalted angel in Islam in Muslim tradition Gabriel is considered one of the primary archangels Exegesis narrates that Muhammad saw Gabriel in his full angelic splendor only twice, the first time being when he received his first revelation. Muslims also revere Gabriel for a number of historical events predating the first revelation. 
Muslims believe that Gabriel was the angel who informed Zechariah of John's birth as well as Mary of the future nativity of Jesus, and that Gabriel was one of three angels who had earlier informed Abraham of the birth of Isaac. All of these events can be found also in the Quran. Gabriel also makes a famous appearance in the Hadith of Gabriel, where he questions Muhammad on the core tenets of Islam. Contrary to Christian tradition, Islamic traditions depict Gabriel as the warring angel. Accordingly he aided Muhammad to overcome his adversaries, significantly during the Battle of Badr and against a demon during the Miraj. <laughs> Baha'i Faith The Baha'i Faith sees Gabriel as a messenger of God who delivered messages to Muhammad. He is mentioned in the Kitab i Iqn, the primary theological work of the Baha'i religion. Art, entertainment, and media Angels are described as pure spirits. The lack of a defined form allows artists wide latitude in depicting them. Amelia R. Brown draws comparisons in Byzantine iconography between portrayals of angels and the conventions used to depict court eunuchs. Mainly from the Caucasus, they tended to have light eyes, hair, and skin, and those castrated in childhood developed a distinctive skeletal structure, lacked full masculine musculature, body hair and beards." As officials, they would wear a white tunic decorated with gold. Brown suggests that, "...Byzantine artists drew, consciously or not, on this iconography of the court eunuch." Some recent popular works on angels consider Gabriel to be female or androgynous. Gabriel sculptures <inaudible> Festivals Baltimore's Little Italy has for over 80 years hosted an annual end of summer St. Gabriel Festival that features a procession with a statue of the saint carried through the streets. Topic. Film In the 1930 film, Lilium, Gabriel was portrayed by Harvey Clark. In the 1947 Western Heaven Only Knows, Gabriel was portrayed by William Farnham. In the 1995 horror film The Prophecy, Gabriel, portrayed by Christopher Walken, searches for an evil soul on Earth during an end of days angelic civil war. Gabriel is also a character in The Prophecy 2 1998 and The Prophecy 3, The Ascent 2000. In the 2004 action, horror film Van Helsing, Hugh Jackman plays Gabriel Van Helsing, called Abraham Van Helsing in Bram Stoker's Dracula. It has been suggested that he is the archangel in human form. In the 2005 fantasy, horror film Constantine, Tilda Swinton portrays an androgynous archangel Gabriel, the film's main antagonist on the brink of the apocalypse. In the 2007, action, horror film Gabriel, Gabriel portrayed by Andy Whitfield fights to save the souls in purgatory by defeating the evil fallen angels. In the 2010, apocalyptic supernatural action film Legion, Kevin Durand plays the role of Archangel Gabriel, the leader of the angel army, and the main antagonist. The story was continued in the TV series Dominion. Topic: <laughs> Games. 2005 Spanish role-playing game Anima: Beyond Fantasy Gabriel is as the humans know one of the seven barrels, godlike beings of light, and is identified with the archangel of the same name. She has associated love, friendship, arts, and peace. In the Japanese role-playing game Shin Megami Tensai, Gabriel is one of the demons the player can summon to assist in battle. In the video game El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron, based on the Book of Enoch, Gabriel is featured alongside Michael, Raphael and Uriel as a guide for Enoch on his quest. All four archangels take the form of swans while on Earth. Gabriel is depicted as female in this interpretation, and implied to be an angel of wisdom. She is associated with the veil weapon Enoch uses. Literature 
In his epic poem Paradise Lost, John Milton made Gabriel chief of the angelic guards placed over paradise. The Hebrew poem, Eliflet, lip by Nathan Alterman, put to music and often heard on the Israeli radio, tells of a heroic, self sacrificing Israeli soldier being killed in battle. Upon the protagonist's death, the angel Gabriel descends to earth, in order to comfort the spirit of the fallen hero and take him up to heaven. The main character of Salman Rushdie's The Satanic Verses 1988 believes that he is the modern incarnation of Gabriel. 2012, Japanese light novel series No Game No Life, Gibral is a member of the Flugel race and was a member of the Council of Eighteen Wings, a prominent section in the government. She is depicted as loving knowledge and books. In the volume 3 of the Japanese light novel series The Devil is a Part-Timer, an archangel named Gabriel appeared and is the guardian of the Sefer Yesid. In August Wilson's Fences, 1986, the mentally handicapped character Gabriel believes with every fiber of his soul that he is the Archangel Gabriel. He carries around a trumpet on him always, and strives to chase away the hellhounds. In the last scene of the play, he calls for Saint Peter to open up the gates. Topic. Music The eccentric English hagiographer and antiquarian, Sabine Baring Gould wrote the English lyrics to Gabriel's message, which he translated from the Basque Christmas carol Burgina Gazteto Bat Zigoan, which was probably related to the 13th or 14th century Latin chant Angelus Ad Virginem, which itself is based on the biblical account of the Annunciation in the Gospel of Luke. In Creed's song, my own prison. Gabriel is mentioned deciphering the visions to the main character in the song, Sugar Baby. The last track on Bob Dylan's Love and Theft album, contains this reference, Just as sure as we're living, just as sure as we're born, look up, look up, seek your maker, for Gabriel blows his horn. Topic. Visual art See also Gabriel Gallery and Commons. Daniel chapter 8 verse 15 describes Gabriel as appearing in the likeness of man, and in Daniel chapter 9 verse 21 he is referred to as the man Gabriel. David Everson observes that such anthropomorphic descriptions of an angel are consistent with previous descriptions of angels. As in Genesis chapter 19 verse 5, Gabriel is most often portrayed in the context of scenes of the Annunciation. In 2008 a 16th-century drawing by Lucas van Leiden of the Netherlands was discovered. George R. Goldner, chairman of the Department of Prints and Drawings at New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art, suggests that the sketch was for a stained glass window. The fact that the archangel is an ordinary-looking person and not an idealized boy is typical of the artist, said Goldner, in chronological order to see each item, follow the link in the footnote. Archangel Gabriel, Triptych, early 10th century, Banaka Museum. The Archangel Gabriel, Pisan, c. 1325-50ths, National Gallery of Art. The Archangel Gabriel, Massolino da Panical, c. 1420-30ths, National Gallery of Art. Justice between the Archangels Michael and Gabriel, Jacobello del Fiore, 1421. Marrowed Altarpiece Triptych, Robert Campin, c. 1425, Metropolitan Museum of Art The Angel Gabriel, Agostino di Duccio, c. 1450 Annunciation, Leonardo da Vinci, c. 1475 The Angel Gabriel, Neroccio de Londi, c. 1490 the Angel Gabriel, late 15th or early 16th century, Flemish, National Gallery of Art The Angel Gabriel, Ferrari Gaudenzio, 1511, National Gallery, London Gabriel delivering the Annunciation El Greco, 1575, pictured above Go Down Death, Aaron Douglas, 1934 Topic. Television 1960, the Twilight Zone episode, A Passage for Trumpet. The down-and-out musician Joey Crown Jack Klugman meets an enigmatic trumpet player named Gabe, played by John Anderson, in what has been described as Rod Serling's version of It's a Wonderful Life. 
2005, TV series Supernatural, Gabriel Richard Spate Jr. is a runaway archangel posing as the demi-god Loki who kills people he deems evil with a sense of humor, but series protagonists Sam and Dean Winchester eventually discover his true nature. He is also known as the Trickster. 2014, Sci-Fi Channel original series Dominion, Gabriel portrayed by Carl Bucus, is the series' antagonist, who plans to kill the Archangel Michael and annihilate humanity. See also Angel of the Lord Angelus Annunciation Archangel Christian Angelic Hierarchy Fleur de Lis Gabriel's Horn, a mathematical figure Hermes List of angels in theology List of names referring to El Michael Archangel Seraph